Good morning. We are beginning our hike at Fort Richardson. Richardson. Historic Site State Park. State Park Historic Site. Oh. Something like that. Anyway. So we're camping. Oh, I get the map. Oh. So we're camping this weekend. We brought the travel Dang. trailer. It is State Park Historic Site. <laughs> you thought I was wrong. Anyhow. Yeah. I can't get a trail a park name right. So anyhow, we got a we woke up at 5 30 this morning to get started early yeah. because of the heat. It was a thermostat or a thermometer on my truck showed it to be a hundred and four degrees while we were driving up here yesterday. So we don't want to be hiking in that. Today. And that's not even with the heat index. Yeah. So we decided to get started early. And there's not a whole lot of trails besides the What's it called? Tramway? Trailway? But we probably won't do that because that would be like an 18 mile trip. Yeah, it's a uh, 8 mile out and back. One way. And not much cover on it. So that we'll save that for a cooler part of the year. But we're going to do what trails they have other than that. And then through the historic fort sites take a nap so yes we're right here and we're gonna head down this lost creek nature trail do a little road walking come back up and pick up this little green trail here rumbling spring trail and then do a little more road walking come over here and do the prickly pear trail and then come back to the truck somehow or another. Yeah. And then the historic sites don't open till 10, so. Mm. Oh, this, yeah, we might pick get back the truck here and drive back around here and park over here before we do the prickly pear trail. We'll just see. Yep. All right. Let's get started. Just back in there. Thank you. the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled I will never forget the first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind You know this would be hot in midday. It would be miserable. I hope you always be around, even if I fail. You are like a summer breeze that I must inhale. Is it possible for us to feel this way forever? Some of the cabins right up there. Woke up lonely, and for you, there is nothing in this world I wouldn't do. I would walk a thousand miles just to see you. For us 
And that's what you call a primitive map. <laughs> Cute. Oh, looks like we might get some chiggers. We might should spray the bottom of our leg, you think? Okay. Turn the one hole. that
common, the night will unfold. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. The people keep missing, the clouds seem to fade. And every occasion I whisper your name. Happy to hear that you'll still be around. I thought you were leaving without a sound. In my little world, you are both pros and cons. It's hard to admit when you feel you don't belong. So tell me, are you still? would be a super great area for a family event all the tables look at the big wood fire pit for cooking you could cook some some grub on that and then you got your Fire pit, playground, of more tables. I'm gonna walk down here. And this farthest most table back here, I want to check it out because it looks like it's right by the water. Lots of raccoon tracks. Yeah. Might be bad for mosquitoes, but. I don't know what this trail is, but it keeps on going. <laughs> it's not on the map, is it? I didn't think so. Hmm, maybe.
So this trail that we've been walking on since we left the group day area is not on the map at all. But it's clearly a trail. So I went up this way and it comes out behind the historic buildings. Okay. Oh, it goes this way. <laughs> yeah. That's something strange. You don't see a lot around here, bamboo. Maybe these are new trails, that, or maybe they're not really trails. I just got to tie into that Lost Creek Reservoir Trail. The tramway. Trailway. Trailway. Tramway you're gonna have the train sitting on. Yep. The trail we took just now brought us out to the trailway. Let me get the name right. Oh, look at here. Fort Gardens. Post Garden at Fort Richardson was located in this general area. Oh, pretty cool. Be the perfect spot for it, huh? It's not rocky. Yep. Like the rest of the. Area we've come through this morning so far. Another bunny rabbit. He thinks we don't see him. All right, so that trail will take you around to the trailway. It'll also take you up a little trail if you turn right, once you're on it, at the first right. I'll take you up behind the historic buildings and this little piece of the trail is not on the map so I don't know if this is a day use area if there's I guess it probably is a day use area rather than a group yeah oh you got these picnic tables out here with individual true true drills that's probably the group up there yeah. Yeah. I'm leaving. Come out. What trail is it we're about to do, Craig? Prickly pear. Yeah, prickly pear trail. So we drove down there and just FYI there's no parking down there by that trailhead. 
So you have to park up here by the trailway parking. So we're just going to walk up here. We saw where there were some mowed paths that will come out. So we're going to check it out and see if the trailway will actually take us back over to the prickly pear. Which we're trying to avoid the trailway as much as possible because it's completely open, no canopy. But from what I saw back there of the prickly pear, I think yeah, it's going to be the yeah, same way. When I hear prickly pear trail, I think prairie. Mostly. And I think that's what it's going to be. Yeah. No cars. No cars. You can drive it, but you can ride. But but really until you can take wagons. Yeah. Horse drawn wagons. Yeah. I wasn't I was oh. being serious. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool for people that do that. Yep. Gives them somewhere off of the Joe Petzal. We used to know a guy that Drove his mules and wagon around town all the time. And it was funny because Barbara's horse would always freak out at the mules. Yeah, my horse did not like mules at all. Lost Creek Trailway. So we're right here. Right here, I guess. Somewhere in there. And see, this thing goes all the way around the lake and comes over here. Now, we're going to go hike. You can drive over here to this and park. The problem is, is if, like us, we only brought one vehicle. That's eight miles. And if we did it, we'd have to actually have come to back. Out and back. I mean, you could you could do this and then maybe walk the road back. I don't know. That, that's yeah, another That would five be miles. miserable. Yeah. So, I mean, you're looking at 16 miles. At total least. Out and back. And yeah. Be a long hike. So... We'll just have to do bikes on that one day. Yep. So, this cool little tree here, but check out these thorns. That's what we call a locust tree. That thing is freaking huge. Yeah, and that whole entire thing is a thorn. Would not want to get messed up in that. Nope. <laughs> Well, that is it for the Prickly Pear Trail. And now we have, it's nine o'clock. So we basically have an hour to kill before the historic buildings open so that we can go tour those. Check them out. So we'll see you in a bit.
Up there on the road looking at me. <laughs> oh, it's limping. 